RFA 44 is taking place this Friday night on Access TV. We're now joined by one of the men that's going to be on the card. Ken Porter is going to be taking on Nick Urso. Ken, uh, appreciate the time. First off, how's it going, man? Everything's going well, man. It's It's been a while since you, you've been uh, in competition. Last fight, August last year. So we're talking about 13 months uh, between fights here. Uh, is uh, is it just uh, you're just excited, anxious uh, to get back into the cage on Friday night? I'm super excited. I've uh, been away too long, so it's a, it's a long time coming. <laughs> what has a, what has been going on since that last fight? Um, I've been basically getting myself prepared for war, um, uh, sharpening every aspect of my game, especially um, ever since everyone knows me for my stand up and my speed. And, you know, I have wrestling and stuff behind me, but you know, I mean, I just been making everything better. I mean, do you try to take the the positive aspect? I mean, obviously, you could, you could look at negative sides. Man, I I haven't got a uh, a fight here in, in 13 months. Do you try to look at the positive aspects of, you know what, I, I've grown as a mixed martial artist. I'm a better fighter now than I than I was uh, back at RFA 28? For sure. Um, <laughs> as time has went, uh, I always know it's, it's somewhere for me to improve in my game everywhere. And um, I've been learning, you know, I've been working with some of the best. And, you know, I, I pick up everything, you know. I'm still young, so... What is the the day in day out schedule for you? I mean, is it are you are you an early riser and and the day doesn't end till very late? Um, I listen to my body. You know, wherever my body tells me what to do, I do have a set training schedule. But in the mornings, uh, I usually go for my jog or my strength and conditioning workout. And if my body doesn't feel like doing it, I don't do it. You know, I wait a little later. But I just listen to my body. But other than that, later on in the day, I do have a training schedule with my MMA and boxing and all that. Is that something that uh, you've always listened to your body, or is it one of those things as you've uh, you know moved on in your MMA career, you kind of realize like I've got to do a better job of taking care of my body here because uh, if my body's not there on fight night, I'm not going to be able to perform to my best abilities. You're absolutely right, and you just you hit exactly what I was, you were talking about earlier. Um, after the RFA fight, my last one. You know, I, I was on a set schedule and I, you know, made sure my I did everything at a set schedule. But I felt like I needed to listen to my body a little bit more after that. Um, I felt good after that win. But at the same time, I felt, you know, I had a lot of other things I needed to improve on. And one of the things I needed to improve on is listening to my body. Uh, I had a lot of pain in areas and I was, you know, push myself through that pain. But, you know, if I, let, you know, let my body heal, I mean, um, my body is what's going to get me where I need to go. So, you know, I listen to my body a little bit more now. Is that one of the biggest lessons you learned in this sport? Absolutely. And, and I guess it's got to be one of those things uh, if you're glad that, you know, they talk about usually the lessons you learn are defeats. It's great when you can learn those lessons uh, in victories. And you've been on, on a roll here recently. Is, is there anything you credit to uh, this recent win streak? Um, God. <laughs> uh, credit's God, you know, um, I've had faith. I have faith in myself, and I know when I'm in that cage, nobody can beat me. So I have faith. You know, what I mean, I pray before every fight. I pray before every workout. I, I got the right people around me. Everybody around me is very positive and pushing me. You know, and they want to see me get somewhere. And that's where that it's to my team. That's what who's been motivating me to get to where I need to be. Are you your hardest critic, or is there somebody inside your training team that is even a harder critic on yourself? <laughs> I would say yeah, I'm my hardest critic. You know, even at the win, I still feel like it's so much I need to work on. I point, I pinpoint everything that I need to work on. Sometimes I can go out there and win and go perfectly with my game plan and still notice that I need to work on everything. <laughs> but that that's what makes you as talented as you are, though, because it's you can have an A plus an A performance, and you're like, uh, but I can do an A plus. I guess yeah. that's got to be a good thing, though. It is it's a good thing. It, there it is. Very so. Uh, Nick Urso, the opponent here on Friday night, RFA 44. Of course, fans can watch this on, on Access TV. Uh, what gets you pumped about this fight? I mean, I'm fighting uh, someone who fought, you know, is up there at the top, you know. Uh, I feel good. I mean, I fought some people at the top, you know. I feel like the, the more people I fight at the top, I get to see where I am as a fighter, you know. And I like competition i feel like nick's gonna bring it and if nick's gonna bring it it's gonna be a good a good show because we both gonna bring it you know 
where do I you feel th- confident too. Where do you think you are as a fighter right now? Um, as a fighter, I feel like I'm at the top. You know, um, I feel like if I'm given that chance, I'm going to shine. You know, I mean, the RFA is giving me that chance, and I'm going to shine. You know, it is what it is. I, I'm that guy hit niggas in my way, so I'm going to shine either way it goes. Obviously, RFA is a great promotion to be in. We, we've seen the amount of fighters that. Uh, have gone to the UFC, also you know fighters going to Bellator, but at, you know where you're you are weight wise. Obviously, UFC is a place for you to go. Is your kind of are, is your view of this fight at all of like this could be the fight that gives me that call, or do you not allow yourself to even think about that? I'm trying not to think of it too much because um, you never know. You know, right now, um, I thought maybe after my last fight I would have got the call, but you know, I never know. You know, maybe. Or if it gives me a title shot, then it, I get my shot in the UFC. You never know. So, is that something? Um, you know, obviously getting to a title, everyone wants to be a title. I mean, is that is that pretty much the next hurdle for you? Uh, sitting there with this fight, saying, "Okay, I win this fight. It puts me in that title fight, and just allows you to grow more and more." I mean, is that kind of the, the goal at this point, or is it, or simply the goal is Nick Urso, and and I'll go from uh, I'll, I'll change the goal after this fight. I mean, I w- actually, I want to be fighting one of the greatest fighters right now, you know, maybe like Demetrius or something like that. I want to fight some a big name so I can get my name recognized. I want to be recognized for what all the work I put into it. I mean, it doesn't, I mean, the titles and all that stuff, it do sound good, but I would like to have a big name underneath my, you know, underneath my belt and some, a big fight. I just want a big fight. I mean, obviously, before you can get to that big fight, you got to get through Nick Urso. Uh, wh- what are some of the obstacles that he is going to offer you on Friday night? Uh, he's tough, you know what I mean? He got a lot of heart, you know. He fights with a lot of emotion, so, you know, we'll see how that goes. Um, He's a tough guy. I would, I would like to see what I can do with someone of his ability. He's, you know, a big guy. Uh, he likes to put on the pressure. And, uh, I mean, he has the basics all the way down to a T, so we'll see how that goes. Fighting with emotion, is that, is that a good or a bad trait? Uh, to me, I feel like it's a bad trait. I, mean, I go out there and have fun, you know. It, I mean, it's a job. And I was going to get my job done, but I'm having fun because I enjoy it. Uh, I feel like emotional, you know, when your emotions, anything can happen. You know, somebody can get in your head right before the fight or anything. I just don't feel like he open enough freely. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I'm free minded. My mind is free. You know, anything can step into my, my path and I'm going to keep going through that path. You know, I'm going to knock that wall down, keep going. Is that one of the things that uh, really in training, I mean, you, you talk about the physical traits that you eat, you know, the wrestling, the jiu the strike and grappling. But really, is mentally is is that as much important just as physical? Because if, if your mind's not in the right place, you're just not going to be who who you should be on fight night. You're absolutely right. I feel like um, if you're mentally prepared for a fight, nobody can beat you. You know, if if you're not mentally prepared going into a fight, you already lost. And um, I, I know everything is in the head. It, this is where you win the fight here. If you lose, if you lose the fight, if you're not mentally prepared for sure. And I know I heard Anderson Silva say that before. You win the fight here in the in your head before you even if you step into the ring. So, yeah, you're right. Do you try to listen to you know guys like Anderson and other fighters been around a long time? Maybe just to kind of get the feel of how they kind of uh, you know prepare for a fight and and the various things they may do. Absolutely. Um. Everything they say, I can pick up. If if it doesn't make any sense to me or anything, I can try. If it doesn't, you know, I keep moving. I, everything I, I suck in, everything. If I can use it to my advantage, I use it. How, is there a, a particular way you see this fight going down, or is it one of those things of over the past couple of weeks you you've seen this fight going down thirty different ways? Um, I always have my own picture of how this fight is gonna go, and I feel like um. My speed is going to overwhelm him. I feel like he's going to try to crowd me. You know? I mean, it, it is what it is, but I'm good in every aspect of the game. So he tried to test me in other aspects of the game. Like everyone else has tried, they're going to get beat, like just like everyone has had. So uh, I go in with a game plan. Hopefully I can excel with my game plan. If it doesn't, I'm pretty sure I can adapt because I've been training so hard and I've worked so hard at every aspect of the game. I'm not focused on one thing. I'm focusing on every aspect of the game. So, you know what I mean? Just like all my other opponents, they try to test me and everything else, but they got beat, so I'm ready for anything. You mentioned about, obviously, you want to work your way to, to you know, fighting Demetrius Johnson. A lot of people consider 
the best pound for pound fighter in the world. Why do? What do? You, obviously, people talk about his movement, his speed. When you watch him fight, and, and obviously, you know, when you're watching him fight, you're you're thinking about what you could do against him. What What do you see that makes him so great? I see that he's talented. He uh he puts his heart into it, and he has a, a ton of cardio, and he's fast. I feel like that is what he he has the advantage. I just feel like he's really comfortable in the cage. And I feel like any fighter that's that comfortable in the cage will always win. And that's what it is. I mean, a lot of fighters, he just put them in a position that they're not comfortable in, and he beats them. I mean, that's how that's that's how every fight should go. Every fighter should look at it that way. You put that other fighter in an uncomfortable position, and you beat them. You, you break them. And that's what he does. You know, you pay attention. He beats every fighter. He breaks them. And then he just just beats him, makes you look bad. He breaks you, you know. And that's I mean that's what every fighter should do, you know. That's why I say you try to be, you try to put me out of my element. You're not gonna break me. I'm gonna break you. Do you do at you, the end of the day? Do you remember the moment when you became comfortable in the cage? Yes, my fifth fight in. Um, every, I mean, I, I had a, a ton of amateur fights, but it was nothing like that feeling. And when I went pro, uh, I feel like I had so much on me and so many people that I felt like I had to. To do good and do well for and not focusing on what I really needed to do. And as I learned that lesson, it made me so much better of a fighter. You know, I, I went in there. I had my mind made up and how I was going to win the fight. And I never I haven't lost since. And, of course, you'll be able to see Ken fight on Friday night on Access TV. RFA 44 takes on Nick Urso. Ken, man, I really appreciate time during fight week. I know it's a, a busy week for you. I appreciate you taking some time out to talk to me. Where can everyone follow you out on social media? Uh, you can find me on Facebook, uh, like my page, Ken Porter, <laughs> Ken the Sensation Porter. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Ken Porter One, and uh, Instagram Ken the Sensation Porter, and any any other website you could think of is probably Ken Porter. Just find me on that. Appreciate it, Ken. Good luck on Friday night, man. Yeah, thank you, sir.